Right, this is the original version of the PlayStation 4. Now we know it's the original version because we got this cover on here and also turn this over here. We've got one, two, three screws there. Okay, screws. Okay, using Torx T8. drive fan power supply Wi-Fi Wi-Fi antenna okay get the power supply out you want to use two three two three let's get these two out Big fat screwdriver. Excuse me, this one comes out first. Press down on the contacts, pull it out. On the motherboard, press down the contacts, pull it out. That's got to be the first one, got to be done in this order. <clears throat> Connected to the motherboard, that's got to come out of there. <coughs> then we want to remove this screw here, this screw, and this screw here. <coughs> There is normally a little screw there as well that needs to come out with your crosshead screwdriver <coughs> and also there's normally a, a torque screwdriver just in there make sure that comes out as well pull that across this drive then just lifts out okay put the console aside and we're left with just the drive <coughs> so mechanical problems we need to take this off. This is this uh, this controls all the mechanics of the drive. So, crossed screwdriver. This one, that one, and that screw there have got to come out. <coughs> this just lifts up. <coughs> Now, first thing to look out for <coughs> is to make sure that this part of the, the drive does this. So when you put your two fingers down on either side of these, what look like a, a lot of these rollers here, um, make sure that when you press down, it springs back up again like that. Make sure there's nothing underneath it at all. Very often if you've got a mechanical issue, as soon as you take this cover off the drive, you'll notice some issue inside of some sort. So very often kids put all sorts of things in there. We found credit cards, uh, the money in there, screws, all sorts of things. Things just got jammed into the drive. Uh, and normally you take this cover off. Uh, you can see straight away what the problem is. Uh, you pick it out. Make sure that there's nothing else in there by giving it a good shake. Make sure that this springs back up and down like that. Uh, and then you can put the cover back on. Um, <clears throat> other things to look out for. Very often in a drive, what will happen is you open the drive up and this isn't working properly. You can't push, you will push down on one side but not the other. And what's happened is that rolling pin, the white rolling pin that I've just taken out of the center is, has, got, has come out and it's got stuck. So you need to get that out. Normally a good shake will get that out of there. <clears throat> As you can see here, this 
pin over here has now <clears throat> come, become out of position over on this side. So what you need to do is, you need to make sure there's a little indent just there and it's got to go back into the hole. So what you need to do is just pull this out. You might need a screwdriver to do this, flathead screwdriver. Just pull it ever so slightly. <clears throat> and it should spring back into place. Make sure that goes in to that little indentation just there, okay? So that's now working properly, but you've got to get this rolling pin back into here. So what I normally do is I normally take one side out, put the pin into there, put the other end of the pin into the other end, and then push back down on here to put it into place. That's accidentally pulled this out of position now, so I need to make sure that goes back in. Okay. <clears throat> Other things to look out for. The spring underneath there, make sure that is working properly. It can sometimes get unhooked either there or underneath. If that's the case, you have to pull all this black mechanism out and make sure that the spring gets hooked over there properly. That spring provides the tension that allows you to spring it up and down like that. If that's gone, it won't work. Make sure that this slider over here just moves ever so slightly like that, backwards and forwards. If it's stuck, then there's something wrong. And you're probably gonna have to get to the underneath of it and, and have a look at the cogs underneath. But normally you wouldn't have to do that, okay? Normally that should be like backwards and forwards like that. These two switches here operate the drive when the disc enters. So you wanna make sure that they're working properly as well. And that's the laser mechanism there. So <clears throat> to put it back together then, Make sure that this mechanical bit of kit is moving backwards and forwards. Make sure it stretches all the way to the outside and back again, all the way to the outside and back. If it doesn't, it won't work properly. It means there's an issue with something something on the on this board here. Uh, one of the cogs or something's got pulled out of place very often. Uh, something's got slightly out of alignment, so just you have to we'll have to check everything over. Sometimes help if you've got another one knocking around that actually that you know works, uh, or uh, so that you can just compare the two together. Uh, so check everything over. Another thing to look out for is if it's bent. So look at it sideways on, uh, and if it looks slightly out of shape, either laterally or or that way. If it's got bent, sometimes people bash the console and it's damaged the, the Blu-ray drive and sometimes this can be bent. Uh, if it is, it means that when the disc is spinning, it will just make a funny noise, like a grinding noise uh, or, or like a, a loud noise as it, as it goes round and round. So um, make sure that that's straight and straighten it out if necessary. That should be enough to do to get it back working again. When you put this back onto the drive, take note of this little bit over here. There's a little lip there, little metal lip, and that has got to go underneath this plastic bit here. So when you put it back on, this is just with the original PS4. That's got to go underneath to fit back on. I'm just going to show you. That little bit there, the metal has got to go under that black bit there. Don't put it on top, don't put the metal bit on top of that black little bit, that lip there, otherwise it won't work. Okay, so just look out for that when you're putting this back on. Also, it should fit snugly all the way around. Okay, just make sure it fits snugly uh, when it goes back onto the drive. And then you want to put the three screws back in as well. Okay, so one screw there. <clears throat> one there. there okay <clears throat> get the console put the drive back in okay. that's that goes over there
That's not quite right. This screw goes back in there. One screw down this corner. One screw top corner. I very rarely put that screw back in there, but obviously, you know, you should do really. Um, there's also a little screw goes in there as well. Okay. Once you've done that, this plug goes into the motherboard first. Okay, so this is the plug that goes in first of all. Plug that into the board. Feed that through. This, when you're reassembling, goes in last. So onto the motherboard, press the clip down, hold it in, press the clip down on the top here, push that in. Don't push too far, okay? Uh, and that goes in there. Very often with these clips, sometimes you can find that they've got damaged from constant uh, constant use people putting them back in and out if that's the case you might notice that these two lips on either side of the connector have been damaged if that's the case the drive won't work so look out for that on either end okay uh, and if that's the case you might have to order a new one of these from from eBay Amazon somewhere like that so push that back in there that's good to go <clears throat> power supply back in Screws back in there, screw these down as well, and you're done.